Hi, I am the Tai Tai, and welcome to the Tit Channel. And no, it's not about tits. It's called This is the Tai Tai, and I abbreviate it as T I T T, and then I say tit because I like to. So today is going to be another Music Monday. Music Monday. I woke up this morning to the fantastic news that Drake's album, Nothing Was the Same, had leaked. And so, of course, I downloaded that shit and don't try and judge me because I am a good fan and I will go and buy it first thing next Tuesday morning, so don't even come at me with that. And so I listened to it and, of course, the first thing I do is go for the feature. He has a song with Jay-Z called Pound Cake and because collaborations are my favorite. So it's the first thing I listen to. Before those two even start rapping, I hear the voice of an angel, okay? And I was like, ooh, I like it. And then I was like, wait, wait. I know this angel voice. This angel voice is Ellie Golding. As if a Drake and Jay-Z song is like not enough for me, put Ellie Golding behind it, like, oh my goodness. Like, look. Like, look, all three of them are on my wall. They're just like, they're three of my favorites. And so this was just like, this was fantastic for me. That was the high part of this roller coaster of emotion that Drake would put me through on this day. And then as I'm listening to more of the album, I hear him mention my queen, Nicki Minaj. I had said weeks ago that I was so heartbroken when he put out the track list that there was not a Nicki Minaj feature because thus far in their careers, Drake and Nicki Minaj have been on each other's albums. Every single one of their albums has had a feature by the other one. I mean, it's only four albums altogether, but still it was like a tradition to me and Drake had broken it by not putting Nicki on this album and I was so sad. And then matters were only made worse because he mentions Nicki in this song called Tuscan Leather and says, that those two don't even talk anymore and that their communication is breaking. And I was like, so is my heart. My heart is breaking right now. Like, what? Like, what? I just remember the good old days, like back in 2011, in the Moment for Life video when they were getting married. And then like, and then like, she had tight pants that were fitted and it turned Drake on and her verses. And, and, and he wanted to get married just to say they fucking did it. And it was just like, and it was like, what has happened? What has happened? I don't know. And then to make matters even worse, he talks about how he feels bad about it and how he dropped the ball and it was some personal shit for him. And so not only do I feel bad that it's happened, I feel bad that he feels bad and it was just like, it was just so sad. So in order for them to remedy the situation, I'm going to need Nicki Minaj to do an official remix of one of the songs and so it should probably be Tuscan Leather since that was the song that she was mentioned on and that song goes really hard and that's what my girl does, she goes hard. So um, I need them to make that happen so we can at least try to remedy this situation because it's just heartbreaking. I know I'm not the only one. Us barbs love Drake and Nicki, it's just like, come on, come on. So um, I guess I will attempt to review the album, but um, I don't really believe in reviews all that much. I mean, they're sort of like a good explanation of whether or not you want to listen to it, but I don't think you can like actually judge music without actually hearing it. Like, I don't think you can read something or have someone tell you something and actually get a fair critique of the music. I can say that I do recommend it just because it's really new, it's really fresh sounding. Drake's producer 40 was just like going all out. It's really new, it's really diverse. He has some great singing, he has some great rapping, of course. It's Drake, it's what he does. He does his rapping and singing together so seamlessly. It's it's really just uncanny. Like he's rapping one second, he's singing the next second. It's not even a transition between the two. It's just he slips into one, slips back into the other. And it's just music. You don't even think about it as, oh, now he's rapping, oh, now he's singing. And it's like, you gotta try to keep up with what he's doing. It's just music. It just sounds like music, it just sounds like art. <laughs> I get kind of annoyed with all the hating on Drake for all of his emotion spewing, but it's like he's telling us stories. He's telling us good stories. That's what rappers are supposed to do, and we're hating on him for doing a really good job at it. The only thing that he's doing differently than other rappers is he's actually telling good stories and he's telling different stories. Other rappers don't tell good, dramatic, emotional love stories like him because they don't have the lyrical ability to do so. So, quit hating on Drake. He's just telling us stories, y'all. Goodness. All right, so that's gonna do it for today. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I put up new videos every week, and I will see you then.